So do you want to be an HVAC technician? Because this is what my day is looking like. I have an install to be on and I'm sitting over here trying to top off the unit because I got to get them AC. And this was not in the books or in the plans today. R410, it's finally getting up there to where about where it needs to be. I have added a little over two pounds of R410. I was going by this useless chart for suction side, which doesn't really matter to me because I have a TXV valve. So I'm looking for subcooling, but there is no rated subcooling on this unit. And that chart is for a fixed orifice. I'm looking for that to not have bubbles in it anymore, for the most part, and to be pretty clear. And that is my liquid line temperature. I'm looking for that to be about 10 degrees lower, roughly, as a baseline. Looking at my high side saturation temperature, yeah, it's pretty high because that condenser coil's even dirty even after I cleaned it. It's plugged with grass called lack of maintenance. I did my best. And it's micro channel. Anyway, we're at about 90 and I'm at about 87. I'm only looking, not even uh, not even three degrees of uh, su subcooling at this point and I'm looking for about 10. At about 91 degrees liquid line temperature. Pushing over 96, 97 degree saturation temperature. So I've got sub cooling. I've got at least five degrees guaranteed. And I got a tight glass that's about topped off. I'm not expecting much sub cooling until that thing's topped off. And that's the outdoor temperature, about 82 degrees. And right now my saturation, like I said, is up about 95, 96. So we are climbing above outdoor air temperature, which is uh, about 15 degree increase at this point, which is good. Once you start getting the proper amount of subcooling, you'll notice the TXV will start doing its thing more and uh, finding its sweet spot because it's got some refrigerant to work with finally and uh, cooler refrigerant at that. It doesn't sense the incoming refrigerant temperature. It just knows what the uh, bulb temperature is on the suction line, but now we're able to give it enough refrigerant to do what it's got to do This thing takes four pounds from the factory, but it's got like a 50-foot line set and then some My sight glass is full. I don't know if you can see that it it'd be nice to see about 325 But it's fluctuating I'm running a 10 degree sub cooling. I'm happy with that